I'm John Skinner and this supports several chapters in my book A Season on the Edge. The plug that I'm fishing with in this video is a Super Strike Popper. These come in three different sizes but seven different weights. It's important to note the eye color on these plugs. The green eyed plugs are floaters, the black eyed are sinkers, and the red ones are special heavy weighted plugs for long casting distance. I'm fishing with one of the black eyed plugs, the, the middle size, five and a quarter inch. Um, that's two and three eighths ounces. The retrieve is just a, a slow to moderate speed popping action. And what's important is, um, you know, I've got wave action coming behind the plug. And what I'm focusing on is maintaining contact with the plug. And as the waves push that plug forward, I'll pick up the retrieve speed a little bit to maintain that contact and keep that plug splashing. This is mid-September in the Long Island, New York uh, ocean surf and uh, this time of the year when you get a couple of cold nights we have bait fish called mullet that tend to head out in the ocean from the bays and uh, that can spawn some good striper fishing and um, when those fish are on mullet they prefer blue those super strike plugs that I showed uh, obviously all blue but that company makes many colors and uh, the colors I tend to stick with are white yellow and blue I use yellow when this uh, predominant bait is bunker and uh, the blue with mullet and white works on just about everything. There are many fine um, poppers on the market that you can use for this kind of fishing. I happen to use Super Strikes a lot. Uh, they make a lot more than poppers and um, they're just good solid plugs and, and a real important tool in my surf bag. Um, they're plastic, they hold up well, uh, they all work, it's not like a wood plug where maybe you get an imperfection here or there. They all tend to work and uh, they're reasonably priced and I just rely pretty heavily on them. This fish and, and the next one uh, take a little while to get in because they're hitting way out on the end of the cast. and. Uh, the casts are at least 270 feet. I'm not quite sure on the distance, but I know it's at least that much. And then what happens is they're out by a bar and they tend to run out over the bar a little bit. There's a lot of turbulence out there, so it takes a while to bring them in. I mentioned the three different eye colors on the plugs, the green, the black, and the red. The black is really the standard, and most of the time if you go to a tackle shop, um, you know, that's the plug you're going to see. I would say probably 80-90% of the people on the beach are using the black eye plugs. Okay, this is two casts later and I'm waiting just a second here. I want to see the wave uh, just about to break and I'm timing that wave and making a cast so that I run that plug right over the white water of a wave that's just broken and if you do it right, uh, you know, you, you can hook up because those fish a lot of times will use the breaking wave to stir up food and create turbulence and they'll rush right into that white water. So. Um, you know, I'm not just making one cast after another, I'm watching the wave action and, and timing the cast. This fish is taking a real nice run. Um, you can't hear the drag because I've removed the drag spring, so uh, the drag is silenced. This one definitely got out over the bar and it's using all that turbulence out there, so uh, it's going to take a little effort to drag it back over.
This rod is a 9 footer. It's made from uh, Lama Glass uh, GSB121L blank with a foot cut off the butt. Uh, it's the same rod I've used in several other, other videos uh, on my YouTube channel. Got a Vanstall 200 spooled with 30 pound test spider wire stealth braid. At the terminal end, I've got about a 36 inch liter of 50 pound test monofilament and uh, I connect the leader to the braid uh, via a, a small barrel swivel, palomar knot on the braid, clinch knot on the mono side, and uh, at the plug end I'm using a tactical angler's clip. The fisheye distortion on the camera is going to really shrink the fish down here, so it's going to look a lot smaller on video than it really is. This is about five minutes after the uh, previous fish. Actually, you'll be able to tell that because the sun is uh, just barely over the horizon now. This one hits a lot closer to the beach, so you'll be able to get a better look at the retrieve. And again, it's it's really a slow to moderate retrieve speed, and, uh, and you see the the, the pops kind of uh, you know trying to get a nice splash on the plug and. You know, I'm keeping an eye on it and making sure it looks the way I want it to and again adjusting the retrieve speed for the waves that are coming up behind it. Okay, that's about all I have to say and uh, I hope you enjoyed this.